The families of four men who are facing extradition to the US have joined forces to take their protests to London's Downing Street. They claim the men's right to a fair trial in their own country is being denied and that the UK is treating them as enemies of the state. Harry Smith reports. They gathered at the heart of the British government, just opposite 10 Downing Street, to make their case for fair treatment in the battle over extradition. Many here feel their citizens are being unfairly treated. It's an argument highlighted by the case of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, an Australian who's wanted in Sweden on sex charges he denies. His supporters say extradition to Sweden would be just the first step in Assange being handed over to the United States because he's embarrassed the US government by leaking sensitive information. These demonstrators are not just protesting against the extradition of Julian Assange, but about an extradition treaty which they say is completely unbalanced. It gives more rights, they say, to American citizens who are wanted in the United Kingdom to the detriment of British citizens the United States wants to extradite to America. Among those the protesters represent are Tala Hassan, who's been in jail without trial for six years. He's said to have been involved with extremist websites, as is Babar Ahmed. He's been held without trial for eight years. Then there's Richard O'Dwyer, who's charged with showing US TV programs on a file-sharing site, and Gary McKinnon, who allegedly hacked into NASA and US Defense Department computer systems. His mother says the law must be changed. People are here to ask for change in the extradition treaty so that anyone who was physically in this country when the alleged crime was committed is tried in this country. In America, anyone who has uh, allegedly done a crime on their own soil, on American soil, cannot be extradited. Under their constitution, they cannot. So no American citizen has ever been extradited for a crime on their own soil. The protesters presented a petition to 10 Downing Street. The British government is already in talks with the United States with a view to reviewing the treaty. Julian Assange is currently hiding in the Ecuadorian embassy in London after losing his appeal against extradition in Britain's Supreme Court. The Ecuadorian government says it will consider his appeal for political asylum. Harry Smith, Al Jazeera, London.